What does the latest in advanced robot technology look like? Well, it looks something like this. And this. What do you owe a machine that remembers you? Right now, in labs from Tokyo to Zurich, humanoid robots are learning to recognize faces, mimic expressions, even predict our needs. Why are you waking me up? It better be important. It is. I have a surprise for you. They're designed to help carry, clean, care. But when one reaches for your hand before you ask, or pauses like it's thinking, where's the off switch for our guilt tonight? The engineers grappling with a terrifying question. Are we creating helpers or the next class of beings? And if it's the latter, who protects them from us? The first encounter. The moment arrived quietly, yet it carried an electric sense of anticipation. Across the polished floor of the research lab, the humanoid robot stood waiting. Its movements were smooth, almost lifelike, and its eyes glimmered with an uncanny awareness. At first glance, it was hard to believe a machine could mimic human behavior so closely. The team of engineers watched nervously, adjusting settings and checking monitors, but the robot seemed entirely in control. A single step forward, and the room shifted. The air felt charged, as if every person present knew they were witnessing something unprecedented. It spoke, not with the flat tone of a machine, but with clear, deliberate words. Oh, it's you. Why are you waking me up? It better be important. It is. I have a surprise for you. Its voice carried subtle inflections, hints of emotion embedded in a mechanical framework. The words were simple greetings, yet they seemed to bridge the gap between human and artificial intelligence. Observers found themselves studying every gesture, every blink of its optical sensors. The robot extended its arm in a gesture of acknowledgement. One of the engineers hesitated, then reached forward, their fingers brushed, and the contact, though brief, left an impression that went beyond technology. It was more than a test of function or design. It felt like an introduction to a new form of life. Questions raced through the minds of those present. Could this machine understand intent? Could it learn from subtle cues and react with sensitivity? The team had built it to perform tasks, yet this encounter hinted at something deeper. It moved and responded in ways that suggested observation, comprehension, and perhaps even curiosity. The first encounter concluded quietly, but the impact lingered. No one spoke at once. Every person in the lab felt the weight of what they had just witnessed. This was not a routine demonstration. It was the beginning of a new chapter in human interaction with artificial intelligence, a moment where possibilities expanded and the future felt suddenly closer, tangible, and real. Why Humans Build Humans Again after the first encounter, the lab buzzed with energy and questions. Engineers and researchers leaned over their monitors, analyzing every movement and sound the robot had made. Some were excited, others cautious, but all shared a sense that something remarkable had occurred. The robot had performed flawlessly, yet it was the subtle human-like gestures that caught their attention. A tilt of the head, a pause before responding, a glance that felt intentional, these details suggested more than programmed actions. Observers could not stop themselves from comparing it to humans. It was not just a machine performing tasks. It had an awareness that seemed to hint at understanding. Conversations began around the room, quietly at first, then louder, as people debated what they had witnessed. Could the robot recognize emotion? Could it adjust to new situations without explicit instructions? These questions lingered in the air, heavier than the hum of computers and machinery. The impact extended beyond technical evaluation. Some team members felt a strange sense of connection, as if the robot had bridged a gap between steel and flesh. Others noted how quickly it adapted to minor changes, how naturally it followed cues from its human counterparts. Every reaction, every gesture, seemed to push the boundaries of expectation. By the end of the session, it was clear that this was more than a demonstration. The first encounter had opened the door to new possibilities, showing that the line between human and machine was thinner than anyone had imagined. The team left the lab with minds racing, aware that the future they were building was already beginning to arrive. The Body of the Machine A humanoid robot stands like a mirror of our form, 
It has a head that turns, arms that bend at the elbow, and legs that move with joints at the knees and ankles. Each part looks familiar, but each is built in a very different way. Beneath the outer shell are motors, wires, and metal frames instead of muscles and bones. The eyes are really cameras, capturing the space around them. The chest often holds the main processors, where streams of data flow and decisions are made. Every movement comes from calculations happening faster than we can imagine. Even the size is chosen with care. Some robots are as tall as an adult, while others are no higher than a child. The shape changes how people feel when standing near them. Too tall, and they seem threatening. Too small, and they seem fragile. Designers study every detail because each choice shapes how humans will trust the machine. Movement and the Moravec Paradox Watching a humanoid robot move is both amazing and confusing. It can leap into the air, twist its body, and land on its feet. It can turn a flip that looks almost like a gymnast. Yet if you ask the same robot to walk slowly across a room, it may stumble. Something so natural to us becomes one of the hardest challenges for machines. This strange truth is explained by the Moravec Paradox. Tasks that humans find effortless, like balancing, recognizing objects, or holding a cup, are very hard for robots. At the same time, tasks that seem complex, like solving math, can be easy for them. What feels simple is not always simple in code. Every step requires thousands of calculations, the angle of each joint, the force of each motor, the weight shifts from one leg to the other. Our bodies do this without thought, but a robot must measure and plan every second. This is why robots can dazzle us with a sudden trick, but still struggle with the ordinary rhythm of life. Testing Limits The true test of a humanoid robot does not happen in perfect conditions. It happens when things go wrong, a shove to the side, a trip on uneven ground, a sudden object falling in its path. How the machine responds tells us more than a clean performance ever could. Engineers often push their robots on purpose. They knock them over, push them off balance, and watch them fall. Then they study how the machine tries to recover. Sometimes it rises smoothly. Other times it struggles on the ground like a child learning to stand. Each attempt shows how close or how far it is from real resilience. For people who watch, these tests stir mixed feelings. It is only a machine, yet seeing it fall makes us wince. Seeing it pushed makes us uneasy. And when it gets back up again, a quiet respect grows. In that moment, the robot feels less like an object and more like something alive. Intelligence and Learning when people see a humanoid robot carry a box or throw an object, they often wonder how much it really understands. Did it figure out the task on its own? Or did someone carefully guide every move? The truth lies somewhere in between. Most robots are given a goal, like moving an item from one place to another. The system then works out how to use its joints, motors, and balance to complete the task. It is not the same as human thought, but it is more than a simple command. The robot must plan its motion step by step, following the rules of physics with precision. Some robots now use machine learning. They take in images from cameras, run them through networks, and decide what object is in front of them. With trial and error, they improve at gripping, lifting, or walking. But they do not learn the way children learn. They do not build memories or stories. Their progress depends on data and human oversight. This raises a deeper question. What do we mean when we say a machine is intelligent? Fear and ethics. With every step forward in robotics, a shadow follows. People worry about how these machines could be used. Some companies like Boston Dynamics have promised not to build weapons. They say robots should be designed to help not to harm. They even work with lawmakers to keep those rules in place. Still, fear remains. History shows that when powerful tools are created, someone will try to turn them into weapons. A humanoid robot with strength, speed, and endurance 
could become a soldier, not a helper. The image of machines marching into war is not just from movies. It is a possible future if choices are made in that direction. This is why ethics matter as much as engineering. Building robots that resemble us forces society to ask hard questions. Do we want partners, assistants, and explorers? Or do we risk creating machines that reflect the darkest parts of ourselves? The decision is ours, but the time to decide is running short. The Near Future In the coming years, humanoid robots will no longer be rare. They will appear in factories, hospitals, and even homes. A robot may help lift heavy parts on an assembly line. Another may assist an elderly person with daily tasks. Some may step into dangerous places where no human can go, like burning buildings or deep space missions. At first, these roles will feel unusual. Seeing a robot carry groceries or walk beside a patient will raise questions and doubts. But as the machines improve, they will quietly blend into our routines. The idea of sharing space with them will no longer feel strange. What once looked like science fiction will slowly become part of ordinary life. The age of humanoid robots is just beginning. From factories to hospitals, these machines are learning to work alongside humans. They are faster, stronger, and sometimes safer than people in certain tasks. Yet, they also challenge how we live, work, and connect with each other. Society will need to adapt and find ways to use them responsibly. The next decade will show how humans and robots share the world. Every breakthrough brings both opportunity and questions. One thing is clear, the future will look very different from today, and robots will play a central role in shaping it. 